Hello, everybody. Welcome to HR Revival. This is the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's so good to see you in the house of God today, or y'all to see me anyway. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Turn with me now to the book of Habakkuk 2, 1 through 4, and I'm going to pray before I say anything. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me but all of you. Put me under the blood. Let me sit down and you speak up, Father God. Let nothing between me and you hinder this message. Let there be nothing between me and you. Let it be except the blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that there's nothing that separates us today, God, that you are hearing my words and that you are speaking your words through me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the Lord. May the eyes of the blind spiritually be open. May those ears of those who are spiritually dead become open. Thank you, Holy Ghost. May those who are spiritually lame begin to walk in God. And may those who are spiritually dead live again. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I will stand upon my watch and set my face and set me upon the power and will watch to see what he will say unto me. That's Almighty God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. And what I shall answer when I'm reproved. What does that mean? What I... When I'm reproved, when somebody else comes to take my position. When you have got a promise set in stone, you're not <coughs> meant to be there in that place forever. You're meant to move forward in God. You're just meant to get a certain time, and then you see the vision, and God moves you forward into it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. Spirit of God, I thank you for the Word of God coming forth today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm about to have me a Holy Ghost fit right now. Hallelujah, bless the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the Lord said unto me, Bless the Holy Ghost. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he they read, they run, that readeth it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. The Bible said that God set his law in stone. But also, friend, as he set his law in stone and said it cannot be reversed, God gives you a God-given vision that is irreversible in the enemy's way. When he gets in the way of your vision, it's irreversible. The decision's been made from heaven. The promise is yours if you're willing to step out and take it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. God is putting you in position for an irreversible miracle. The devil can't even mess this one up, baby, because God's got a design in mind to bless you out of your prison. He's going to open up the prison walls and let you walk out. Not just open up the prison door, he's going to bring down the prison, as he did Joshua in the battle of Jericho. He's going to let the wall fall down and let the bricks fall where they may. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. God's going into your enemy's camp, but you're not going into the enemy's camp without God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. When you get there, God's going to bring you out of the enemy's camp with the spoils of war. You're going to spoil your enemy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. You're going to bankrupt the devil. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So I'm going to tell you today the message title is that your due date has come. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Shut that at emotion. I don't mean to get excited, but I can't help it. There's a fire, I bless you, Holy Ghost. Shut up in my bones. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Ranabosha, thank you, Holy Ghost. I've not felt this good. I've felt so sick for the past month, but for the first time in a month, I've got fire in my bones. I've got joy in my soul. I've got peace like a river flowing out of me. 
I got joy, joy like a river that I thought I'd never see. Thank you, Holy Ghost, that there's blood that was shed in my place. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm thankful for Jesus, for the blood. I bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I am not going to let any situation stop me from getting the blessings of the Father because of anger. If I see anger arise, I'll instantly go into forgiveness mode because I know if I begin to be hurt with God, it could turn in, if not careful, to a hatred of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. It's all right to be hurt with God, but don't let it become a hatred for God. I love you, Holy Ghost. Because you're actually going to run into a situation. You're going to get two hits on the mat. God's going to hit you, and you're going to hit the mat, honey. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Get out of the boxing ring of blessings. Get in to the blessings of abundance. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. Quit trying to be blessed. It's not by works, but by grace you are saved, lest any man should boast. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. It's not by works, but by grace, through Christ, lest any man should boast. You're not saved by works. But what is it? He said, do works at the same time. It's not by works, but if you are a child of God, you will do works. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. It needs to be done to get you into the place that God needs to get you to make you an overcomer. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Declare a thing and it shall be. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. But not only just shall it be, it is set in stone, and the devil ain't got no choice when he sees you but to run away from you because you already know the blessing is set in stone, honey. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. God done set you in for a miracle. He done set you in for a miracle. Your time is now. You feel like you've been, oh, God, Lord, you're too late to come now. It ain't never too late till your last breath's gone. Thank you. Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. God's grace far outweighs your circumstance and your sin. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. So should we continue, continue, continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Romans 6, 1 through 9. So we need to get up out of our pity potty mode and get up into the glory zone in the heavenly because we are, bless the Lord, we are seated with him in heavenly places. And because we're seated with him, we know who we are and whose we are so we can have whatsoever we ask. And we will not doubt but believe the promise of God. We shall reap a harvest if we faint not. So whoever needs to hear this, be weary not, be not weary, thank you, Holy Ghost, in well-doing, for you're about to reap your harvest. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Jesus. God's going to take care of your enemies. Don't worry about what you're going through or who's doing it to you or doing whatever to you. God's about to overthrow the decision in your court case. Somebody needed to hear that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. Whew, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The enemy's trying to attack me now, but I'm going to keep on preaching. I curse that devil of pain in Jesus' name. You devil, I command you to loose and let me go free in Jesus' name. Be bound to hell to your out of days of darkness, to your days of out of darkness. In Jesus' name, never find your way back. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. There it went. Bless your name, Jesus, for the miracle. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every time I try to preach under the anointing, that sharp pain rises up, but I'm going to curse it, and it's going to go again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hey, I curse that devil of pain. Go in Jesus' name. There it went totally. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless your power, Jesus. Bless you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the Lord.
for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What does that mean? Your trouble has an expiration date. Did you just hear that? Your trouble has an expiration date, and it's you're overdue, some of you, for a miracle, and it's time now for the vision is yet for an appointed time. I'm getting ready to get ahead of myself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Behold, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Bless the Holy Ghost. The vision is yet for an appointed time. This is your due date. For those who feel like you've missed a miracle, you really ain't. For the vision is yet. For an appointed time. It's set in stone. You're going to get it. You just got to keep your eyes on it. That's why the devil, that's why Jezebel herself in the spirit, there is no female nor male, but that demon spirit of Jezebel is in the church and it's looking for seers. It's looking to take out the seer and not just a regular bench woman Christian because a seer can actually affect the supernatural realm. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The Kairos people like me, God has given me that, hey, hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Those who have a Kairos anointing by the Holy Ghost, those who are seers, can open up the prophetic by the Holy Ghost in them and unlock your destiny in you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody out there, you're a seer in the Spirit. God's given you the keys to unlock somebody's destiny in their life. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's getting a word today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. You know, a lot of friends of mine, tell, my family tells me all the time, you know your grandpapa would have done walked out on you for preaching like that because you're a shouter. Honey, if you got what I got, you'd be shouting too. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. If you've been going through what I've been going through the last month, bless the Lord, I love the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for healing and restoring and reviving my spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah, God, I thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. If it would not be for God on my side, where would I be? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God has revived me. He's redeemed me. He's restored me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Today, he's quickened my mortal body. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I've got a reason to shout, honey. Don't you tell me, get, don't get excited. When you, when you can go off and sing them honky tonk and drinking songs and tearing my beer and, Lord, just build me a shack and shove it off in the corner of glory and call it cabin. You can say don't get excited. I borrowed that from Brother Henson. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. But Ronnie Henson's who I borrowed that from. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. But now look at this. When you're singing about souls and you're preaching about souls, getting saved and being delivered from the devil and bodies getting healed. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, and the dead being raised. You can't help but get excited because there's somebody on the inside of you that's getting excited because you're finding your destiny. I thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I curse every devil binding everybody's mind up on the video. Those who's been walking in love, but yet you feel no peace about this situation or that situation, I curse that in Jesus' name. We bind and thank God for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Excuse me. Coming against you in Jesus' name. We command peace for your mind, spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' name, I bless you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Meaning, God says, my word will not return unto me void. Without a vision, the people perish. That's why the devil's after seers. He's after their eyes. 
Do you know that in the Indian culture, in the Cherokee Nation especially, that if an Indian dies and you cut out their eyes, you've just stole their soul and they cannot go to heaven? Is what the Cherokee believe. Why? Because the eyes are the windows of the soul. You can look into somebody's eyes and tell they're of God or not because the light of God will shine through those who are of God. But those who are of the devil, they will have the darkest, saddest, beat down, hard-hearted, sorry for me blues. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said we were going to go through trouble and we were going to get sad sometimes. But he said, consider it all joy. What does that mean? When you go through diverse temptation and trials, you're going to get depressed sometimes, but you've got to determine in yourself, am I going to stay this way or am I going to get out of this situation? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Look at the vision, baby. What did God do and promise you in the Word of God? By the Word of God, the Rock of Ages, this Word is set in stone. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has set in motion, a blessing that cannot be turned. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But how is he going to do it? How is God going to set a blessing in stone for you unless he first breaks the stony heart? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Shut it up, boy. Shut it up, boy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Every stony heart of doubt, every stony heart of confusion, God, I just ask you to break it apart and set the vision in stone for them, Father. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Ghost. Give them something to run with and run for. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Let the devil run away, but let those who see the vision run with the vision. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said, my word would not return back unto return. Return back unto me, boy. Bless the Holy Ghost. But he said it would go out and do what it was accomplished to do. It accomplished that which I sent it out to do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. He sent his word, Jesus, and he healed them. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Jesus is the living word. If we got God on our side, if God be for us, who can be against us? What can be against us? Who in hell can be against us if God be for us? So we need to tell the devil of Jezebel, go back to hell where you belong. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you know the Bible said that every time a seer was caught spotting a demon, every time that somebody was caught in sin, they said, what happened? Oh, this prophet told us what you were doing. This prophet had this happen. This prophet had this happen. The devil that was in them kings and queens, of Jezebel, Ahab, and so on and so forth, wanted to kill the seer because they knew they were going to be a problem for their demonic destiny. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, the living Lord Jesus. If you ain't a threat to the enemy, don't worry. He ain't even going to touch you. If you're a Christian and you ain't no threat to him, don't worry. You ain't going to have trouble in your life. But if you are a real Christian, thank you, Holy Ghost, the living Lord Jesus, really fire baptized, blood bought, spirit filled, on your way to heaven, honey, you're going to have trouble. But God shall deliver you. Many is the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Blessed be to the name of God. I love you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love the Lord Jesus. But the vision is yet for an appointed time. For the end it shall speak and not lie. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it. What does that mean? Though it looks like it's not coming, it's still on the way. If Daniel would have quit fasting and quit praying, he would have missed the very miracle God had for him. If he would have not believed the vision, if he would not have continued in prayer and waited for the word to come back from heaven, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus, then he would never have got the vision that would have transformed the nations of the world, that would actually set in motion 
the process of the birth of the Messiah if Daniel would not have waited for the vision. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Do you know we would not even be here if Daniel would not have waited for God to move? Do you know how many prophets of old felt doubt several times in their life? It's okay to doubt sometimes, but when when you when you feel that doubt coming on, get it out. Get out the doubt because it's human nature to doubt. It's supernaturally human nature. The enemy will bring doubt into your mind. That's what I'm saying. It's all right to be human, but don't let that human side of you affect the spiritual side of you to the point it destroys the God in you. God cannot be destroyed, but his plans for your life can be destroyed by doubt, by fear, by confusion. We know them things are not of God. So when them things arise, it's all right to recognize it, but when you recognize it, discard it, because if the thief be caught, he's got to give it back seven times greater than what he stole. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. In all your getting, get understanding. That word understanding means get understanding of the Holy One. Learn His character. you got to know who God is before you go into the storm with God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Do you know Jesus, when He went into the water, God in flesh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. He had not done one miracle, cast out one devil, healed one sick person, raised one dead person. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Love you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said the voice came from heaven as the Spirit came upon him. This is my beloved Son, whom I am well pleased. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Love you, Lord Jesus. we got to know that even if we fall short, there's still something greater to hold on to. That no matter if you lose your musical talent because you lost your hand in whatever kind of accident, if you take away the music, I'm still a son of God. If you take away my, if you take away my car, I'm still a son of God. If you take away, if you take away my sight, I'm still a son of God. I am a son of God, no matter what happens in my physical surroundings or even in my spiritual surroundings, I am a son of God. I am my father's child, and in me he is well pleased, though I may come short in my own understanding of life, and though I may come short in my actions toward the father, he still loves me, I'm still his son, and when you get that revelation before you go into a battle with the devil, you can overcome every obstacle, every temptation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. When Jesus was talking to the enemy, he said, it is written, it is written, it is written. What was he saying? It's set in stone. I've seen the Father's vision for the church and what you're offering ain't it. When he showed the vision, the devil had no choice but to run away from Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. It's all right to be human, but don't let your human nature destroy who God's calling you to be. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. It says, neither demons nor angels nor things in the past nor things present can hold me back from being who God's called me, can pluck me from God's hands. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. He didn't say me, though. I'm the only one that can remove me out of the hand of God. How? Because the Bible says, Revelation 2, chapter 3 through 4, and Revelation 3, 4 through 5, thank you, Holy Ghost, and bless you, Lord Jesus, it talks about people who literally left their faith. And the book of Peter says, if anybody leaves their faith to the point that they totally reject the gospel, totally go the other way, like my cousin did, Jake, when he jumped out of the window of the holiness church, Pentecostal campground, because he did not want to serve God. He did not want to follow the will, the will of the Holy Ghost. He said, the Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. The Holy Ghost departed from him that day, and God never called him again. He died in his sins and went to hell without the Holy Ghost because he died and rejected Christ in the church because he didn't want to get saved. He didn't want to get saved to the point he jumped out of the holiness window on the holiness campgrounds and broke through the window. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost and living Lord Jesus. I'm not done yet. I'm almost done. And the church said, Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost and living Lord Jesus. I hope you're enjoying in this message, though. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And bless you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Yes, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. Meaning... It's going to come. It's not going to, this delay is not going to last forever. Today is your due date for your miracle. Today is your due date. Your due date has come. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. A lot of you have been going through separation anxiety. Somebody's being healed of that right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Shut it up, old son. I'm so glad I preached this message other than what I was going to preach. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I hear the Lord say, go ahead and read verse 4, and then I'm done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody's been spiritually going through birth pains because the vision you're pregnant with has now begun to cry. Hey! Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. The vision you're pregnant with is now beginning to crown. You're going through birth pains. Do not give up. Keep on going. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Push on, baby, and God's going to bring the baby to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless and love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the living Lord Jesus. Meaning we are not perfect. But yet, though we're not perfect, where we are weak, God is strong. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the living Lord Jesus. I ain't preached a good shout message like this in a long time. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the blessed living Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Where we fall short, God exhorts. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to say it again. Where we fall short, bless the Holy Ghost. God exhorts. I bless you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. That's it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm done. I hear the Lord say, that's it. I'm done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to give an altar call. And right here, have you not been saved? I love the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. If you're backslid or you're lost and you've never been saved and you've heard this message, that Jesus has come to give you life and life more abundantly, you don't have to be bound up, messed up, or broken up anymore. God wants to heal you. He has come to heal you by the Holy Ghost and through what Jesus did at the cross. Bless his holy name forever. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And bless the Lord. If you want to be saved, pray this prayer with me. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and wash me, cleanse me. I believe you died on the cross, that God raised you from the dead. Fill me with your spirit that might make heaven my home. Bless the Lord, and, and I ask you to live inside of me and be my very best friend. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, it is done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I welcome you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. <coughs> Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Excuse me, y'all, my throat. I've been getting over a cold bug, too, by the way. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I've been getting over a cold bug. So thank you for praying for me. I do love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. By his stripes, I am healed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Speaking of healing, if you need healing, I want to pray with you now. I curse every devil of sickness, of infirmity, of disease. We bind it. We break it. 
In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I command every demon of infirmity to go now in Jesus' name. Be broken off of your life. We curse it to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Be bound out of darkness to wander there and never rise again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's done. Creative miracles now. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Ghost, for the miracle. It's done in Jesus' name. You're healed, set free, and delivered. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now you're going to be delivered. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to deliver, Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you are bound up by an addiction or a bondage, we bind the bondage. We break its power off of your life. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. I rebuke the devil off of your life and command you to go free in Jesus' name. Because he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Now, Father God, I ask you to fill everybody with the Holy Ghost and fire. Jesus, you are the baptizer in Holy Ghost and fire. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I prayed for you and you received God or you've been healed or you've been delivered or you've been set free. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody with a throat infection, there's like a um, tearing away, there's like a spot on your throat from esophagus issues with acid reflux. God's healing you now. In the name of Jesus, write to me. Let me know what God did for you. Thank you again for tuning in to H. Hall Revival, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother H. R., and I'll see you there at the next meeting or in the air. God bless you. I love you with all my heart. God bless. Bye-bye.